Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 9 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we are just taking a look at our passenger rail line running from Hodsden down to Reading. Put it in at the end of uh, the last episode. And as you can see here, we are waiting for this train to clear this block. And it's going to head out. So that's functioning. However, you may have noticed our passenger numbers, not great. And as a result, our uh, finances on this line are not, not too good. I think we were a little ambitious with this train. Capacity's 51. Let's see, we got 15 coming back. The numbers are starting to climb. We've got 22 waiting. Um, but why don't we just come in here and try and make this a bit more reasonable. Um, Maybe 35. Maybe 43. Yeah, let's just take out one of those and drop it down to 43 capacity. Just for now, you know, just to make it a little bit more reasonable. I think that that will work nicely. And now we got our oil delivery here and we should be pretty good. Okay, so let's kind of talk about some of the things that we want to do today. Uh, we're going to start off this episode by focusing primarily on passengers uh, and then shift over to some industrial later on. Um, one thing that I noticed is that this really needs another platform on the other side here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, give them one. So let's come in here. We'll add in another track. We will add in a passenger platform. Let's see, let's get some stairs in there. Perfect. I'll make sure that time is running, quarter speed. And then I'll go ahead and link this in right here. And then link this in here. So now, if we come into the Tetterden Carlshalton, it's going to come from Tetterden down to Skelton, over to Carlshalton. And at this stop, I want them to use Platform 2, just like that. And now you'll see all the passengers will kind of shuffle around and get to where they're going to go. Perfect. Okay. So that's not the only uh, passenger stuff that I want to focus on today. This uh, line running up to Asker. We come up here, Askern to Skelton. Uh, it's doing pretty decent with passengers. However, I have noticed that this hill here really bogs down some of these vehicles. I mean, these ones are stuck behind just uh, carriages right now, but pretty e even when they're not obstructed, they still struggle going up that hill. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get another... A uh, little rail line on here and we're going to use our BR-89 to do a little hill climbing just to kind of bounce back and forth. I think Askern is getting pretty pretty good size now. It's got 233 passengers or 233 people compared to Skelton which is 263. If we actually come in here and sort by size, let's see Ferry Hill, Karshalton, Redding. Yeah, Askern right here. It's pretty good size. So I think it's uh. It's due for a little rail connection. So, the way that I think we're going to do that, if we look at our terrain, I don't really want to come up this way. I think I'm going to come off here, off our main line, branch off, and try and climb up and around like this. I think that that would work. So why don't we find a good place for our station... I'm thinking like right in here. It's pretty flat. It's not bad. And now if we come in here with our rail station, this is just going to be a this is going to be a really small station for now. Let's kind of figure out where we want it to go. I'm thinking like right there. Maybe right there. Yeah, it's just a small little station. 
120, uh, 120 meters, nothing crazy. And then we'll run our rail down here. Now here at Skelton, I would like to get a, probably another platform. So let's configure this with another station on the outside. And then where we want to merge in, I'm not quite sure. I think we'll merge in like right here. So if I grab Yeah, so we need to get rid of this signal for now. So let's get rid of that. Let's do 25. And then 25 again, and then let's get that one-way signal back in there. And then I'll put one in there as well. Okay, so now that we have our track, I'll bring it over to here. And then I will merge it in. So we got a little bit of triple track going on down here. And then this one will be able to merge here. And that should be good. And this is just going to be for our little line running up to um, Asker. So I'm thinking it'll come down around here and maybe branch off like right here. So let's get a little merge here so it can jump over. And I actually want to back this off a little bit. And I really want that to be flat. So let's take that off there. Let's see, maybe a 45 mile an hour jump over there. Now let's see, we'll need some signals here. And I'll get rid of those signals. Maybe I'll add those back in there. And then just shift these ones down a little bit. Like that. Okay. So now it's going to be able to hop onto this track. And now we should be able to get this track to start climbing up here. However, this road is going to be an issue. So if we kind of come into our terrain here. How is that slope? Slope's not terrible. I think the best thing that we could do for now is get rid of this road. Just so that we can get a better idea of the slope. Just trying to see... I don't want it to be too ridiculous, but I think the BR-89 will be able to handle it. Maybe if I bring it to about there. We just kind of need to see where we're aiming. I wonder if I just drag this all the way up here and connect that in. Just to see what it's going to do. So it's going to bridge it all the way up there like that. I don't think that's, that's necessarily what I want it to do. So why don't we bring it to like there.
And now let's see what this would do. So that would tunnel. Okay, so what if I grabbed it coming the other way? And I dragged it to there. And then if we come in here and delete out this bridge that we just put in. Yeah. I like that. However, I think some of this bridge has to go. Maybe those portions. And now we can make this fill and do the same thing here. We'll make that fill. So we got a little bridged portion. And now we just need to reconnect this road. Although, where does this road go? I'm surprised it didn't get upset about that because that is actually a mainline connection. So what I'm going to try and do is, let's see if we can get a, uh, a little bridge in here. I'm going to sink down this terrain. Just a little bit. See now, if I make that fill. And now what if I bring this up a little bit? Just to try and uh, get it to only bridge through there. Yep, that's what I wanted it to do. Now we'll just kind of smooth that out a little bit. And now if we get rid of this bridge, let's see if we can get it to bridge again. We can. And now we can get our road through here. So let's connect that road up. connect this road up as well and then we'll just come in here we'll just smooth that out so now that road connection is maintained i get that the uh the game didn't mind that it was broken but i just think that it makes more sense to have it uh have it in there okay so now we do need to rework our bus stops so why don't we come over here and we will shift this stop down to here. So on the Askern, let's see, counterclockwise. So after Church Street, come down here and then don't go to Victoria. And then on this one, after Church Lane, come down here and also don't go to Victoria. And now the catchment is still good, so we can go ahead and get rid of these stops. Oh, we messed up a line. Uh, Yately to Askern. Okay, so they want to interchange here. So why don't we actually give them a way to do that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a bus stop here and then let's add in wonder why it won't why it won't let me do that let's see if I delete a couple of these buildings there we go and then if I add the street access back in 
It's not too steep. Although that looks pretty bad. Let's get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a road out here. And we're going to keep it flat until it drops back down into there. And then I'm going to take this little flattened terrain. We're going to flatten all of this and then we'll smooth it out on this side. And now we'll come back in here with a road. We will connect those up and now I should be able to get this in. And it should look pretty good. And now if we connect that in like that. So now Okay, Asker and Combat. I definitely don't want you to do that. So after Church Road, go here. Uh, Yately to Askern at Victoria, I want you to use Platform 1. And I would love it if you would come in that way. Like that. Okay. And now, counterclockwise, we'll get rid of Queen Street. So after Church Street, come down here like that. And then on this one, after Church Lane, perfect. Okay, so now we can let this run again and that should all work. So now we've got our stops integrated with that station which is in catchment right here with this uh, with this facility. And then why don't we come in here with just a couple couple trees, make that look nice. Okay, so now we can establish this line from Skelton up to Askern. And this is going to replace that bus line that we already have running. And let's make that kind of a purplish color. I think that'll look nice because this line, if we go to Asker and Skelton buses, we can sell all of these and delete that line altogether because now we have this little rail line, which is going to run right up here, just like that. And I think that's going to work really nice. Okay, but we do need to get a train onto there. So let's come up probably to this depot here. And get a train onto this line. So we're going to go with the BR-89 to, uh, to climb the hills. And let's go maybe 4 and 1, 43 capacity. Let's see if we can get away with 51. That still has good performance, so should still work and then let's get that on that line and this is going to be our rail line from Skelton to Askern now the only thing that I'm concerned about with this line is that it's going to be slower than the other trains that we have on this line so It may, okay, so now that I think about it, actually what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna have it branch off sooner. So let's get rid of this. have it connect up there 
And now I can fix these signals. Because I jumbled them all around. So let's get our one-way signals in here. And now I'm going to put a non-one-way signal here. Yeah, and now that line works. So now the only point at which this, the only point where this line, this slower train is going to maybe cause a problem is when it joins in here. And this could go with, this could use a uh, non-one-way signal, is when it joins in here to go th out through the tunnel and then branch off. That's the only point where it could have an issue. And then it has its own track heading all the way up to Askern. Okay, perfect. And now there's no bus route running on there. So hopefully that will uh, encourage some people. Yeah, we already got one. Perfect. So that should work quite nicely. And we'll come back to that later in the episode to see how it's running. Okay, so now, another passenger route that I want to establish, and this one's super easy because we already have the rail, um, is Carl Shelton up to Hythe. Uh, we already have the rail in, so all we have to do is put a passenger station here in Hythe, and then we should be able to get that going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on another platform here yeah I think this is gonna work okay so let's get a let's come into this platform here and we will add on What would that be? That would be like 160, something like that? Yeah, pretty sure. And then we can add on some covers here. Like that. And let's see, if I take this off And I branch it in there. Yeah, and then I bring this around. I'm kind of thinking I should actually do my industrial portion before I do this, because the industrial portion of today's episode is going to be delivering Conmat, which we're going to produce here in Hive, and delivering it all the way down to Norton. And I think that that will work really well. But it does mean that I'm going to have to rework this rail interchange here. So yeah, why don't we, why don't we do that first? So I'm going to pause this because we're going to rip out a lot of this. So I'm actually gonna remove that track that I just put down. I'm going to take out this track. I'm gonna be moving that station. Let's get rid of that signal because we're gonna end up double tracking this a little bit further. Bring that double track down to there. And then let's merge that in there. This will need some signals. And now I need to get a sweep coming through here. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do, just to kind of figure out where I need the space. So if I come in here with a platform, and this is a 320 meter platform, or is it 240? Nope, it's 240. Okay, so I'm actually going to orient this station a little bit differently. So let's get rid of that. Just lost a tremendous amount of food, but that's it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And now if I get this station in here, like that, I just need to be able to curve this onto this line while giving them enough room to make this curve. So let's see, if I go there. Okay, perfect. So that is enough room for a double switch. And now that line auto adjusted to going into there. So that will work. Okay, so that's all set up. And now we need to make this this curve over here. And I could do it with a single track. Could just be a single. So if I take that out there and merge that in there, I could probably get a double switch there. Can I get one here? Actually doesn't look bad it's pretty it's pretty level um, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to eyeball it to start and then let's see if I can connect that up yeah I can okay so it's gonna be kind of slow it's gonna be a slow curve yeah see in that that did what I didn't want it to do. So let's back that out. Get rid of that. How does that look? Still doesn't look great. There we go. That's the height that we wanted at. And now I should be able to connect those up. And now this is going to be a double switch and this is going to be a double switch. And now I'll put a couple non one way signals on there just so that they don't Actually, I'm not going to signalize that because I just want them to take it. And if somebody has to wait on the uh, the mainline portion, that's okay. So now we'll get a set of signals here. And then we will get a set of signals here. Like that. Okay, so all of our lines are working, so we can let this run again. But now we have this curve in here, and that will allow us to kind of figure out where we want to make this merge. Okay. 
And now that I think about it... Do I have enough space here? No, I don't. But there's already a crossover there. So why don't I get rid of this signal? I'll just have to move it back just a little bit. So now we can get a one-way signal there. I'll pull this out. I will need a non-one-way signal there. And then I'll merge that in like that. And then this will be our platform going out to Hive. So now that's on the track. This has turned into a pretty ridiculous interchange. Okay, but now the passenger line is integrated into this track and it can cross over here at this double switch, bump over there when it, when it needs to. And then this will be a block because we don't want them, I don't want to have to, you know, double up all of these bridges. And then let's bring that out like that. And then we'll merge this in here. See if we can keep the speed up. So now we want one-way signals there. And we want one-way signals here. And then maybe one set in between. Like that. That should work. Okay. And then I'll probably put another passing loop here. This will be a block. And then we're gonna actually branch off up here. So we should be okay. Let's get a set of signals on either end, and then again, maybe one in the middle. And now I think we're going to... branch this off here. And then similar to how we did it uh, previously, this is going to be our passenger line here on the outside. And then we're just gonna come up into here. Now, is there any point in putting a through station here? Maybe we might go up to Sandown up there. So let's do that. We also have a set of bus stops here, so that's kind of perfect. This place is kind of asking for a passenger station. So let's go uh, maybe 160. Let's get that in there. How's that look? Yeah, that looks really good. So it's right by the bus stops, that's perfect. And now if we look at our terrain, I think we should be able to just make a pretty nice connection. So let's come through here, let's get another track. And if I connect that into there, it wants to bridge that. I don't think that that's necessary. And now we just need to connect this up. So we'll connect that in. Perfect. Okay, so now that 
all of that rail is connected up. Now, one thing that I just remembered that I didn't do, it's up here at Asker. This needs a pass-through track. So if I grab that, There we go. So now that's that's working. So now where is this train? Oh yeah, it's got 35 people on it. That's actually really good. And it's doing really good for, you know, its speed. It's not the fastest train. That's okay, though. There's 20 people waiting here. And let's see how this works if we speed this up a little bit. Is there going to be any issue here? So this should come up here, probably wait here. Okay, so I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna actually get rid of that signal so that if there's a train in the tunnel, it will just continue on. Okay, perfect. So that is running the way that we want it to. So now if we come back down here, we can establish our new rail line. And this is gonna be Carl Shelton, platform one. And this is going to run up here to Hive. Okay, so what's the issue now? Ah, so that, this is the point right here. Yeah, that was the issue. And let's make this uh, maybe a really dark maroon color. I think that that will look really nice. And then here, they're just gonna be using their separate sides and then they're gonna merge in and use this portion of the, uh, I guess if you wanna call it the main line to run back and forth. Okay, and we want these trains to be waiting 60 seconds for full load. Yeah, perfect. And now this is gonna be Car Shelton to Hive. And now we just need to get a train onto there. I don't know if we have a depot that can get it on there. I mean, I guess this one probably could, actually. So let's buy a train onto here, on here. And let's go with uh, maybe a BR-53. Hive is actually a pretty good sized city. Uh, and Carl Shelton is huge, so I'm thinking that a pretty good sized train would be good. So let's go with like a, let's go with a BR-53. And then let's, uh, you know, do our standard five and one setup there. We'll make it that dark maroon and we'll get it on the Carl Shelton to Hive route. And I'm interested to see this is probably going to wait here until both of these trains vacate this track is at least what I'm guessing is going to happen. Yeah, that's okay though. We'll just have to make sure that that actually makes its way onto this line. But I think that this looks this looks good. This is an extremely long platform now. And I wonder if I could Nope, can't fit it. That's okay though. Okay. So now that that is set up, 
I think we are primed to start delivering uh, some cargo into, or some conmat into Norton. Now, in order to do that, I think we are going to have to make this dual use. Uh, just because we are going to have more trains on here. And that's okay. That's not a problem. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to add a cross there. And... Yeah, we're going to need to start signaling this. So... Let's go non-one-way signals here and here. And then if we go one-way signals starting here and we auto-signal them. Yep, that was almost perfect. So I'll get rid of that one. And then as this train is passed, I will start to signal this back. And we will put in a signal there. And now I'll turn off the auto signal. And then once it passes through here, we will go ahead and put in this last signal. And that should uh, double track this whole thing so that they can actually use both sides. There we go. And now if we look at this, both of those trains will share the same line, which could cause problems because this is a slow train, if you remember. Um, but the capacity is actually getting pretty high, so. How many people want to go to Norton? Yeah, 63. We'll just have to see how that works. If they start getting stuck behind one another, we might have to do something about it. But I think for now, we'll be okay. And now let's come into here. Let's add on another platform, another cargo platform, to receive the, uh, the con mat. And then we can come on to here and add on another truck platform for the CONMAT delivery. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this all the way up. Maybe not all the way. Let's back that out a little bit. We'll just put that in there. And now we'll get some uh, some non-one-way signals here and here. Okay. So now, we're going to have a train linking in at this cargo station. But now we need to add another platform onto here. So that we can have a con mat drop-off. Or a con mat pickup. Whatever we want to, yeah, whatever we want to call that. So I'll bring that out. And this is going to need some double tracking. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. So this is going to be a crossover. Just like that. And now that I'm thinking about it, oh, which train is that? Oh man, causing problems. If I grab this, I'm 
I'm gonna pull that out for a minute so that I can continue the double track through here. Right, now this doesn't have a way onto there, but that train is gonna work. So why don't we pull this up to here? And then maybe I'll merge this in right before this road. Could also just pull it all the way. But we're gonna have to switch these. So we'll connect those in like that. And now that I look at this, I think we'll just, uh, give this room to have a pass-through. Not that I, I don't know if it'll need it in the future, but mine as well. So let's add that on. And then we can grab this track and merge that in. And then we can have a cross there. And then we will send signals down here. Signals coming back. And now I want a non-one-way signal there. And now everything should work if we look at this. Yep, okay. Now one thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna switch these signals to protect this road. that okay so now that's functioning now we need to get the con mat actually delivered here and this is solely for a drop-off right now um am I, am I okay with them all using that as a drop-off yeah probably so let's come into here and let's get one platform in here. That's actually going to need two platforms. One for the con mat and then one for the stone. Okay, and now we're gonna need a platform in here. So let me spin this around. We'll add this one in like this. And then we can connect this up with the road. And just kind of smooth that out. around there and now we can establish our new lines so this is going to be our hive stone this is going to be hive stone let's make it a nice gray color and at the first stop i want it to wait for a full load forever before it comes down here and then this is going to be our hive con mat, and that's gonna wait forever. Hive con mat. And let's get some vehicles onto here. So onto the stone, I'm thinking 20. And then onto the con mat, I'm thinking Maybe eight. And 
Although, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, probably going to need to increase those a little bit at a time. Just so that they don't clog up this station. Is my thought. Um, that's starting to produce stone. However, there is no line to actually deliver the Conmat down to Norton. So let's get that established. Okay. Yep, and it's going to curve through there. And then it's going to run here and into that platform. And up here at Hive, wait for a full load forever before you come down here. And this is going to be Norton Conmat. And now we need to get a train onto there. So let's come down here. And I think we're going to go straight for a PLM to start. And to move Conmat, we need the flat cars. Capacity 68. Maybe we'll go with like 80. Bright red, and let's get that on that line. And now everything is pretty much working. If we speed this up, these vehicles are going to start to get out of here. And let's see, if we come onto here, we could probably fit maybe two more into there without clogging it up. And then on here... Yeah, we are starting to get some stone, which is good. However, we need to establish the delivery down here. Actually, this might be a catchment of everything right now. I think it is. Yeah. All of that con mat is currently caught, which is good. However, at some point, we could start delivering con mat down here to Yately. That'd probably be good. So why don't we just get ready to do that and establish that little truck route down here to Yately. We're not going to deliver a ton down here, um, but I think it will be good. So let's put the stop in maybe here. And now if we get a new line, let's make that a red color. And we'll come down here and drop this off. And these trucks will wait for a full load forever before they come down here. And this is going to be Yately Conmat. Just making sure those trucks are stopping there. They are. So now let's get maybe four. And let's get them on that Yately Conmat. And they'll just sit up there. And, uh, and wait. And that'll be good. And they'll just take a little bit down there. We'll have to see how much demand it has. I assume the vast majority of the combat will go here into Norton. But I'm sure some of it will, uh... Will make its way down there. And now let's see who they're... Who they want to ship to. So Norton, absolutely. And then just a, a little bit to Yaley. Here comes our huge train. And now that's just going to wait for a long time to fill up. And something tells me we're probably going to need a few more vehicles onto here. So we'll send those out. And then these stone trucks will start to space themselves out as we go. And that'll be good. Once they're spaced out, we shouldn't have any problem. Alright guys, I think this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. 
if you did, if you made it this far, uh, definitely consider, you know, leaving a comment, leaving a like. Uh, the comments really make my day. I try and respond to all of them. I love reading them. And uh, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. I'm going to try and get them out at a pretty good pace. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a great day. Thanks. Bye.